and a widespread uh, release in the streaming services that will allow everyone, no matter where they are, to see this film. Translated to 20 languages and dubbed to English and French, uh, and uh, Arabic and French. And perhaps, Allah willing, in the future, it will be dubbed with other languages too. Now you are at the footsteps, at the beginning of uh, spreading the light of Az-Zahra, peace be upon him. This film that was fought and there was resistance against it from the beginning because it ruins some people's uh, plans and their uh, things that they find beneficial. The so-called Sunnis and the Betris have revolted, hysterically revolted, when the film was about to be released and was close uh, to a uh, release. Now this revolution, this uh, Lady Fatima's revolution, peace be upon her, I have no doubt that is something Lady, peace be upon her, takes pride in. And those who are truly uh, uh, among those who participated are the ones who hopefully have also obeyed her and abstained from what she has uh, warned against. This is a film that cost more than $15 million. Uh, and how many people have participated? Maybe 35,000? 35,000 people. Believers who have contributed. Who gave away and uh, uh, contributed. And they had uh, no... Uh, they did not listen to the, those who wanted them not to uh, give away from what they have and uh, those who tried to tell them that this is so on and so forth. And now we're at the stage where it's only six or five days until we reach the uh, date for uh, the film being released on several uh, numerous streaming services. Truly, it's an epic moment, a historic moment, that has brought us to this point, on this day, and on this moment. I do not know how Lady Azara, peace be upon her, will reward those who still contribute. I know, and I hear, that some people who in the first wave of contribution, second, third, fourth, and fourth, and fifth, and they still contribute. Whenever they hear uh, the call of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her, they obey and they give and contribute. Whenever we say we want to advance and, and we want to evolve the project, we have an English version, and now we want uh, to create a French version. They gave. Contributed, donated. The Arabic, they donated. We want to uh, rent a, a large airplane to send the brothers, sisters to go see the film in a different, uh, uh, the, to see a different country to see the film, to promote it. They gave and donated. And we said we want to spread the name and promote the if name, um, promote the film in uh, nations around the world. So people are aware of it. Many people donate it. They gave uh, much from what they have. And continues to do. Uh, and some continue to, to give. And this is the greatest uh, success in history. And the angels themselves will record these deeds. And 
bring that, uh, bring these records before Lady Az Zahra, peace be upon her, in the Day of Judgment. Do not um, miss this chance. This is your chance. I don't say days. Maybe day, maybe hours are left. Truly, who can guarantee his his life? And who can guarantee that someone will not take his place? There are people who are regretful now. They say that we wish that we gave in the beginning. Because to be among the first has its own reward by Allah. Those who put the first foundations are greatly rewarded compared to those who uh, continued building on what they have founded. Some of those who have were the founders, Allah, uh, now they are with Allah, who passed away, and in His mercy. But in there, they feel the relief that they have accomplished this goal. And this uh, goal was accomplished. The matter of Lady Azara, peace be upon her, is not some, a matter that's buried in books and history. And now it's widespread. It's everywhere. And the enemies of, of Zara, peace be upon her, and their followers have uh, been paralyzed now. And they have no idea what to do. What to do to contain the effects or the impact of this uh, success. And after this, the success of this film in uh, nations around the world, and now it will be in the World Wide Web and, um, and streaming services and um, anyone who wishes to watch it can. And it can and will, in time, Allah will create a new uh, generation or new generations that see things differently. From now on, we will no longer uh, silence uh, the voice of Az-Zahra or the pain of Zahra, peace be upon her, or her cries and her injustices that she faced. Everything must be revealed. The world must know this truth. Now, this is what you have accomplished. If here, I, if there's an advice here, it's those who have not taken part, those who have yet to contribute. Do not waste this chance. This might be the last chance. Those who have or wish to contribute even a small amount, a small uh, contribution, saying to themselves, these are the last days, let us take part among those who have obeyed the Zahra, peace be upon I don't say this because we are in need. You know, and those who know have known us for many years, we are not in need because, uh, uh, thanks to Allah, we do not depend on people. We depend on the Lord of these people, their creator, and our Imam, the master uh, of time, peace be upon him, Imam Mahdi. We present these projects, and we say, if our Imam approves of what we are doing, and these projects are for the sake of Allah and they will make uh, or do uh, uh, what is good for this uh, faith, then he will bring to us those who will uh, contribute and those who will work and strive to make these projects a reality. And this is what happened. Always we repeated this lesson. We said to you, do not... Uh, expect one day that these projects uh, are fully dependent on you whether uh, what beliefs you have what uh, ideologies you believe in or what positions you have it does not matter to us if we are told you must change your position on this matter and that matter certain individuals that you have criticized or talked negatively about, 
We do not care about this matter. We do not care who is with us and who is against us. We care only about one person, and he is our Imam Al Mahdi, peace be upon him. May Allah hasten his reappearance. And only him. And we have shown to everyone, regardless of the trials, tribulations, and all the uh, those who stood against us, and the slandering and the defamation, day and night. Today we discovered something new, something I have never knew about before. That in the official website of Khamenei, on the first uh, page, the home page, uh, pr uh, promotional content, advertisement, uh, that is against us directly. It's called the story of a fatwa, and there is a clip there that he, he Khamenei, is some sort of a hero because he stood against us when we celebrated the death of Aisha. They put our picture in there. Uh, with fog on it and on the other hand that Khamenei was shown in such a positive way uh, an advertisement for us on the first page of the official website of Khamenei we didn't know that it was to this extent that this is how nervous they are uh, this uh, tyrant is and his regime is uh, that they must create such a promotional uh, or uh, as um, create such a such material to defame or slander us. That means we truly have uh, shaken his foundations. The voice of rejection that we ha that has been recreated, despite the many powers of this uh, regime and those who he pays for and his mercenaries. And you have learned uh, how recently the scandal of him trying to make himself a legitimate scholar by paying scholars to uh, sign his legitimacy. And even that his teacher said he's just like Muawiyah trying to pay off others. And this regime that they claim has caused a headache for the United States. This regime that would have spread the Betri faith, corrupt Betri faith among all the uh, Shia uh, followers. And this weak voice, this weak voice, when uh, came out now, uh, back then, don't uh, look at it now, look at it when it was birthed, uh, how it was, and now what it is uh, right now. Even now, compared to what a powerful regime like Iran has, it's nothing. It's a government with an army and many capabilities. But this voice has broken their back and shaken their foundations. These futures that they planned for are gone. Now, there are two voices among people. A voice by a country like Iran and a voice by us. They create movies and we create movies. And this voice is heard equally, and now people are hearing them and hear us. And they hear their opinions, and they hear this corrupt, mutated, and ugly uh, battery uh, sect of uh, Islam. And then they hear this pure, clear, and, uh, and uh, honorable uh, Rafali Shia sect that says what I say in all things I say I'm faithful to what Muhammad and his purified family have said it's not the words of Sayyid Qutb and Allah Sadra and others who Khamenei claims are the statements who, which represent the foundation of Islam you don't see that in this in our sect so people who are uh, fair and sensible uh, rational and they do not have premeditated opinions these people when they hear both sides they know which is the truth and which is not who could possibly believe that schemes political s s schemes media uh, schemes uh, um, regional schemes that would be in jeopardy 
uh, that would lead the leaders of his mercenaries like uh, Nasrallah who uh, waged war uh, on the media uh, uh, and such like Mayadin and others uh, that uh, started to create programs programs after programs uh, live to to uh, defame this film and slander its creator and even this slander uh, in the media uh, funded by Khamenei and his ilk uh, we have even seen uh, today we've seen it in such a way that after the resistance uh, beat the Zionist this is how they linked it when the resistance beat the Zionist and um, ejected them from Lebanon the uh, imperialism of the West uh, thought of new ways to destroy opposition and resistance uh, and now they used this person I mean, I mean in myself uh, and to use him as a tool to um, slander the symbols of Islam things are really laughable even a children would not believe them myths we say and we said a thousand times we are with resistance and our history proves it and our statements prove it in like the war of Tammuz when uh, south of Lebanon was uh, invaded we also reject uh, um, giving legitimacy to the so-called country of Israel and despite that they make these claims against us so they went so far to say that it was the Queen of England that uh, uh, allowed me to leave prison in Kuwait not knowing or ignoring or pretending to not know that uh, the Queen has no political power and cannot influence such a decision. She is simply a symbolic existence. This is how far they go. There's no wonder uh, so many people are disbelieving in them and their uh, empty claims. If it was not as such, if this was no danger, if there was no danger to the Iranian regime, Khamenei would not tell his uh, first security advisor the president of the security council of Iran Shamikhani tell him to make statements against the Lady of Heaven film if this film was no, they, uh, did not cause any danger and it was not like a timed nuclear bomb to them would have been enough to tell some uh, nobodies in the media to make one or two uh, programs against it but to tell your security chief your top security sh chief to make a statement against it then they are admitting that it is truly dangerous and it is dangerous for them because we believe by Allah that even a single tear uh, for Lady Zara peace be upon her like the tear for Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, is a reward. When people are attracted to Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, when their emotions bring them to Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, then political games and deceit does not work on them. Deceit of politicians and leaders and parties and what so on and so forth will not work. This regime does not want that to happen. They want this deceit to continue so that they uh, achieve their goals and safeguard their interests they use this religion for their own gain but now these projects have shaken their foundations as you have shaken the foundations of the remnants of the so-called Sunni faith those who do not know what to do to uh, wipe away the shame and to wipe away the images that have been created in the West. Those 
uh, whose impressions of, uh, of the enemies of Ahlul Bayt, Abu Bakr and Umar, for example, have become very negative. Uh, those uh, people who do not know anything about this religion, they look on this film, they see Abu Bakr and Umar as tyrants, deserve, deserve, worth, worthy of cursing. This cannot be removed. Even if they were to create film after film, even if they were to do whatever they, in their power, this impression will not change. It is a done matter. We have beaten them to it. And we have shown the truth. And we have ingrained this image in the uh, film uh, industry. It has shown that what uh, have we presented was successful. And what the so-called Sunnis have presented was, uh, uh, has failed. How in the media uh, discussions, uh, interviews, the so-called Sunnis and the Shia Rafali people who were in these interviews, people could tell the difference. They stood with our uh, representatives and the so-called Sunni representatives uh, left with their heads lowered in shame. Do you think that uh, the uh, Western individual uh, is ignorant? They are not. They, when they want to know something, they research. There are those who are interested in Middle Eastern matters. There are those who are professors in the universities and academies. They research these topics. And they come to us and ask. And they see that we have proof. That we have proof. We are on the right and then they will understand. Just like recently someone told me, now we understand why these people are so uh, uh, nervous and restless and so hysterical. Uh, and they don't, wanting not this film to come out. Why? Because this film shows the roots of ISIS. And they sh uh, did referenced uh, one of the images in the uh, film and something in reality. And it was uh, someone who went among the demonstrators. He was, he has looked a similar, exact actually, appearance of uh, the ISIS person in the film and the person who demonstrated. The way he looked, it was one-to-one -one, uh, uh, comparison. Looking so similar that you can't tell the difference. And this truly is history. Those who are Lady Az-Zahra, peace be upon her, stood against and resisted are the same people who have, uh, we have today. And they are the ones who paved the path and founded the culture uh, and the uh, birthing grounds for terrorism. The ones who caused the uh, terrorism to spread in the world are Abu Bakr and Umar. May Allah curse them. They are the ones who gave birth to uh, terrorism and spread destructions and ruin in the world. But the true original Islam is a religion of peace. We sent these messages in the film. The speech that we chose for the Messenger of Allah, the first one we chose was... Uh, we chose that. Do I not tell you the finest uh, ethics of uh, morals of the people of uh, dunya and heaven is to spread peace in the world. The first uh, speech, the first statement they hear of the Messenger of Allah is the message of peace. And they will fall in love with him. On the other hand, they hear the first statement of Abu Bakr to say, I have a devil that rides me. What happens to a person when they hear and uh, contrast? They would look at, say, at this and say, this is a devil. They will compare how the messenger of Allah uh, was and how Abu Bakr was. How Lady Zahra, peace upon her, was and Abu Bakr was. And it's all in history. 
can a so-called Sunni say that, no, Abu Bakr never said, I have a devil that rides me? No, he cannot. This is authentic uh, matter, even in their history. Their imam, their leader is a devil that's ridden by a devil. And he wants the world to uh, uh, respect and revere a devil. And this is why I say it is a reward by Allah to be uh, uh, become uh, generous. And it is even greater that your generosity for sake of Lady Azara, peace be upon her, to aid her. The goal of the devils is to uh, kill her story and, and kill her mansion. But now you have created this revolution, revolution and spread her name and message uh, uh, all over the world. And now we are only mere moments, five or six days, and this film will be released on streaming uh, platforms around the world. So we turn to the original topic. And so we conclude this lecture with how you would make or can make Jahannam pray for you on your side, not against you, not your enemy that will swallow you whole. But ask Allah to safeguard you from it. And you have learned that hell was it part of the dowry of Zahra, peace be upon her. So is heaven. So she does as she uh, wills, and she will only wish what Allah has permitted. That means that Lady Zahra, peace be upon her, will bring those who obeyed her to Jannah and those who, are, uh, who are, were her enemies to Jannah. This is uh, how we will conclude this lecture by telling you or recounting what the narrations tell us of her stance in that day, day of judgment. A lady of Fatima, peace be upon her, will stand by the gate of Jannah. It will stand by the gate of, of uh, Jahannam and uh, there's a reason. The reason being in Al al-Shira by Saduq of Muhammad ibn Muslim said, I have heard Imam al-Baqir, peace be upon him, say, Fatima, peace be upon her, will stand by the gate of Jahannam. You will see her. And if it was the day of resurrection, between the eyes of every believer, on the forehead of every believer, or disbeliever, every person, a believer or disbeliever, on their forehead, it would, would be written either believer or disbeliever, Allah forbid. Among the uh, so-called Sunnis would say to us, we are not ka kafir. We say, yes, in dunya you're not considered kafir, that means you will treat it as a Muslim. But the day you die, the moment you die, on your forehead, disbeliever would be written. Why? Because your messenger have said that, uh, has said that. He said, if you died without knowing the imam of your time, then you will die the death of uh, uh, Jahiliyyah uh, days. It means that you will be considered a kafir. That's why we say, uh, save yourself now before it's too late. Imam al-Baqir, peace be upon him, stated, Fatima, peace be upon her, will stand by the gate of uh, Jahannam in the forehead of every man and woman, the words believer or disbeliever uh, are written. So, someone who loves Fatima, peace be upon her, is ordered. Ordered to where? He's ordered a uh, uh, someone who loves Fatima, peace be upon her, is ordered to go to hell because he disobeyed not one or two, but
but many uh, sins. Someone who's committed many sins. Then between his uh, forehead, she writes or reads uh, someone who loves me. Someone who has committed many sins. She writes in his on his forehead, someone who loves Fatima. Peace be upon him. And then stands up uh, and send, says, My Lord and Master, you called me Fatima. And my name is to safeguard those from, uh, who obeyed me and followed me and off, on, off me from hellfire. And your promise will never be broken. Yes, this person had many sins. But Allah, you called me Fatima, the one who safeguards her followers from hell. And you said that your name means to safeguard those who love you from hellfire. Those who follow you and follow your infallible children. Peace be upon them. And you will not break a promise. This is a holy narration. And how does Allah respond? And he says, Allah, exalted be he, you are truthful Fatima. I called you Fatima. And you are the one I have used as a means to safeguard those who follow you and your fallible children from hellfire. And I will not break this promise. So how could you explain this, Allah, to bring this, drag this person who is one of those who loved me to hell? And Allah will describe the reason why this uh, worshiper was ordered to go to hell so that you would mediate it uh, for him and I would listen to your mediation so that my angels and my prophets and messengers Allah wants to show something important not just his angels his prophets and messengers all of them the finest of his creations he wants them to see this he wants them to see and everyone every creation of Allah your position to me and your value to me what is the value of Fatima peace be upon her in the, eye, in the eyes of Allah what, how high is her position? Those who you have said consider a mu'min, you declare as mu'min, take his hand and put him in heaven. At the end of, that is the dowry of Azara, peace be upon him. You take the hand of your followers, those who love you to heaven angels come to you, Allah forbid you were someone who disobeyed Allah, you created did many sins but you loved uh, Fatima and you're, you're a believer and you repented you were meant to go to heaven, maybe you will have spent days in hell, but Lady Azara, peace be upon her, will mediate. It wants, they want you to drag you to hell, and you have no hope. Then you see the lady standing by the gate of hell, pointing, seeing you from afar, on your forehead, seeing the words, someone who loves Fatima, a believer. Then she will cry out to Allah and say, Allah, you called me Fatima. Where is your promise? And then Allah will respond, Yes, I do not break my promises. But I wanted my creations to see your value in my eyes. Mediate for him. Take his hand to heaven. 
And the angels will leave your side and say, we obey you, Fatima, take his hand to Jannah. And then you will go to Jannah with the mediation of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her. I ask Allah to make us, to grant us to be among those who Lady Fatima, peace be upon her, takes to heaven, her heaven, her own dowry. Especially since in this dunya, she knows. She knows how we struggled and suffered. How many trials we have went through for her sake, peace be upon her, to reignite uh, the um, revolution of Lady Azara, peace be upon her, to remind people of her story. And if we were, were to continue to adhere to and be determined to what we believe in, as long as we are sincere and, and as long as we are loyal, with our promise that we would end up as those who have aided Lady Azara, peace be upon her, and those who have obeyed her, that hell itself would pray for us. And how could hell uh, disobey Azara, peace be upon her, when it is the dowry of uh, Azara, peace be upon her? May Allah aid us in this endeavor. May Allah blessings, peace be upon Muhammad and his purified family. <laughs>